Hello everyone. Today I want to make a short review of the LM4 experimental life energy meter. Um, yeah, I, I want to do some tests and share some thoughts about how I think this might work and what you can measure with it and what makes sense to measure with it. So, yeah. Let's first start with some uh, explanation of how the device is operated. So we basically have a range selector. We can choose 1, 10, 100, 1 kilo and 2 kilo. This is the amplification factor. And here you can adjust the needle where it's positioned. We have uh, one for coarse positioning and one for fine positioning. So the reading what you get here is not in volts or amperes, it's more like a percentage counter. So you can compare your readings, what, what you will get out. It's more, uh, yeah, let's say a quantitative reading. So yeah, what we basically do here is we, we set uh, a point where we want our needle to be. And here is, is our sensoring part. As you can see, it, it sensors my, my fingers. And here we put our objects on it. So um, the most popular objects that were measured are crystals. So we start with this one. And we see, yeah, we have from 30, we got to about 32. And now we can amplify the range, a factor of 10. And we put it down. And now the set point is at 10, that's fine. Put it on there. And yeah, 33, from 10 to 33. Now let's put a smaller crystal on it and it's around 21. So I've seen a lot of other reviews of this device and many people seem to assume that this tells you about how powerful the object is and some form of energy. And I don't think that's, that's entirely true. That's just what I think because I will show you some things um, where the device actually reacts the strongest. And as I have tested a few things, I found out that it's metals that react the strongest. So yeah, let's try it with this is a copper pipe. You can use any metal, it doesn't even matter. And you can see it over the scale compared to anything else. So yeah, we adjust the needle down so we can measure something to around 18. And the interesting part is that if I touch it here, it heavily reacts. If I don't touch it and just move my finger like this, And it doesn't matter how long this pipe or piece of metal is. It can do it with any type of metal. It can be 10 meters long. If you touch it 10 meters away, it will still react. So what I think this is doing, I've seen in the manual um, written that this device makes a field. And I think that I am grounding this potential. So if you, we have a field here, there is some potential, let's say a positive potential. And I, as I'm standing on the ground, I'm grounded. So I, I have a, a, a different potential, let's say a negative potential. And if I get close here, um, yeah, 
the, the, the amount of change in potential difference is what is shown here, is what I think. This is what we mainly see here. So, yeah, um, it's also commonly used to test the strength of organite, which I think is a bit questionable because yeah i will show you i have here three pieces of organite let's start with the smallest and put it on here now let's first um, let's set this down a bit but change the range to one again and now we are at 30 which is fine And because organite, or especially this organite I made, has really a lot of metal in it, it's really heavy for its size, lots of steel and copper and brass, it acts as a virtual ground, it has a potential difference. So what comes from this field, from the device, it will get uh, grounded and how much in percent of course this not this is not a unit you will see here so we get from 30 to around yeah, 47 and now let's take a bigger piece 48 slightly bigger and really huge and heavy is one and a half kilos with a really a lot of metals in it uh, 60 64 almost so a lot of people would assume that yeah this is more powerful and I think yeah this is this may be true of course it's bigger more powerful it's obvious that it's bigger and it's, it, it has more mass and more metal. It, it, it should be more powerful and, and it, it actually is maybe, but what you're actually measure, measuring is uh, the metal. So it's just all about the metal. And, and, and to show you, I have a piece of copper sheet, 0 0.5 millimeters. I've yeah, formed it for another project, but it's just pure copper. A uh, really light and thin sheet. See? 51. So this is way stronger organite <laughs> than, than this really powerful and strong organite I have made here. This makes no sense. So basically if if, if you compare organite with this device it's just measuring how much metal is there and is, is in your organite and especially how much metal is on, on the bottom surface if it's farther above it, it, it the reading will also be not that strong so this reading will get it, it makes no sense to measure organite with this device it's just my opinion because yeah, as I've shown, we have another one, <laughs> the stainless steel bowl. <laughs> Strong organ head. <laughs> yeah, this is just metal. So, um, I also have here some steel, a bit dirty, but it's pure steel. See? just reacting to metal the heaviest because as I've said before I think this is setting up a field and this is acting as a virtual ground same as I'm grounding it when I'm touching it and, 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 and yeah how much current flow there is from this potential to my is, is showed here I think and what I've seen is you can only increase the reading and not decrease it by putting anything on there. If, if, yeah, if, if I ground it basically, 
you see you get a uh, higher reading you will uh, it doesn't matter what you put on there you will never get a lower reading uh, except for alternating electromagnetic fields that's where I get a lower reading and I will show you what I mean so we are back here I have attached a LiDAR probe on here as you can see here this just acts as an external antenna normally the antenna is here so we have another one here to measure the field we have on this coil and through this coil there is an alternating field uh, this, this creates an alternating field and this is what we are measuring here so right now there is no power applied to the coil and our reading is around 50 and we are at a range factor of 1 so normally you see if I get close to it it reacts a bit but not too strong because we are at a range of 1 So let's see what happens. You see, we got 110. If I switch it off, back, switch it on, it's pretty brutal. But I don't think that <clears throat> this alternating field is like bad for you or. That it has less life energy in it. It's just how this device works. It reacts to fields, and if you bring it close to another alternating field, it will give you a negative reading. And I also can show you my power supply has right around here the transformators, and they operate at around 50 hertz. So there's also an, an, a strong alternating field here and it will also react. So I put it on here and because this field is, is strong, because it's a strong power supply, um, I can, I, I have a range of one and I set it up like, yeah, 100% or around 100%. And if I switch it on, it will go down to the maximum and it would go down further below if the needle didn't stop. Just from this transformator from the oscillating field. So it definitely reacts to fields and switch it off again. And yeah, it also reacts to the human field. So I think that's it for this video now. If you have any questions or want other things get tested with this device or have other ideas how this could work, let me know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.